Plan video. <laughs> Welcome back to Half Land Videos. Today is the big day. Um, I'm gonna be putting a turbo on the car. Nothing else to really say, but gotta start installing this stuff. So let's see what we got. Uh, I got my new tire changer. I was gonna reveal this. I'll show you guys a little bit of how it works, but it's a full blown uh, mountain or uh, tire mounter, um, pneumatic and electrical. Um, so I can actually mount and balance my own tires now i don't have to rely on a shop or anything like that now with that said um i was practicing on this 45 sidewall tire and it was giving me some hell but i looked at a couple videos and saw their techniques and um basically what i need to do i need to have a little a couple other bars over there but that is not what we're working on right now um what we're what we're doing today is the turbo on this one. all right so out of all this stuff what we have here um we have the same side front mount and a cooler obviously it has piping already attached to it when, when i was mocking it up um i got all my couplers my adapters um more piping obviously that is wastegate that's the wastegate line i'm going to run a hard line an uh, it's going to be a dash three i don't know if that's going to be big enough um or a three an whatever you want to call it three an dash three um I may have to go up to a dash four or, or a dash six. Um, time will tell. Uh, if it starts boost creeping and uh, it's putting down way too much boost, then I will know that I need to go to a larger diameter um, fucking line. Anyways, uh, more piping. This is for this is like a generic kit for like an old six gen Accord, which had which pretty much. Um, it, it, it will adapt it will go on the car but you're gonna have to adapt it quite a bit you're gonna have to do quite a bit of cutting um welding and just basically all around mocking it up and getting specs so does it give you a little head start on you know where the piping will be yes um is it a lot involved to where it's almost a complete custom kit yes um but for the most part it will generally run where i want it to run um, like I said, I'm going to have to cut like here and lower this down to like there, or this would be like sitting on the fucking road. Um, this will need to be probably adapted somehow or modified somehow. All that shit is just might have to just toss it. I don't think any of that's going to fit, but it did come with some gaskets. Um, I don't know where it came with some headers. I don't know where the headers are, but this is the turbo. As you can see, it's a Turbonetic. It's a 69, 68. Um, I would have preferred a like a 68, 69. Or, I'm sorry, the compressor side, I would have preferred either a 68 or 69. And then on the turbine side, I would have preferred a 70 plus. Um, the issue with these J series is, or a lot of the Honda motors are, is back pressure. Um, you want to eliminate or alleviate a lot of that back pressure. You can do that by. <clears throat> You can do that by um, putting on catch cans, um, basically venting the crankcase. And then next would be um, the exhaust back pressure. Obviously you want to, um, you, you want a bigger turbine or housing. So this is an 88 or 83 or 89 uh, turbine housing, which should be good because it should spool. It should spool pretty quickly, um, but I'm just hoping it doesn't build up a lot of back, back pressure. Um, and the reason I went with a bigger turbo like this is because I don't want to be pushing it. I want my boost to come on basically at like four or five grand um, thousand RPM because I want to die. I want to drive daily. It's a daily driver. I don't want a ton of strain. I don't want that. I don't want that turbo to come in at twenty five hundred all day, every day, putting that strain on the motor when I really don't need it. You know, I just want to drive normal um so what the bigger turbo will do it'll bring that turbo or it'll bring the the power band higher up and it will allow me to drive normal and then when i want to get into that bitch and rip downshift like i always do i i'm never racing below 4,000 rpm so not nothing's really going to change there but um that's it it's a 69 68 like i said i would have preferred like a 68 70 or 72 um just a bigger exhaust housing but i can always go and change it to a 1ar exhaust housing if i see that there's too much back pressure but um that's it i got the an line on there that was a pain in the ass because 
I had to pull the compressor housing off because it wouldn't it wouldn't go on there so I had to unmount everything and then I had to mount it first and then I had to put the compressor housing back on um, so wasn't a big issue but it was more work than I wanted so let's get started I got my buddy Trent he is on his way to come help me because there would be absolutely no way I could um, I could hold the piping and take measurements at the same time and here she is for the most part, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the PDCs or the pre-cat deletes there. Um, that piping that I showed before that I need to cut down. What in the fuck is that? The piping that I showed before that I need to cut down, it's going to come off the PDC. It's going to come over here. And then the turbo is going to sit right about there. And the way I want it, I want, if this is the T4, I want it to be turned a little bit that way with the exhaust going there so i can shoot it back here and then down and connect to my full exhaust um i i don't know if i'm gonna get it done this weekend um i would have to say probably not because i am not a good welder um and secondly being not a good welder i also don't weld with very good equipment i'm welding with a uh like an ebay amazon flux core welding um, if anybody knows anything about welding, flux core is not even close to being the, the best type of welding that you can get. Um, a MIG and then a TIG would be the best. Um, I will be getting a TIG down the road um, because that way you can do steel, aluminum, you can do all that shit. Uh, even even um, titanium. So, oh God, it's, it's fucking hot in Florida. Anyways, um, I'll do flux core. It's not going to be pretty welds. Let me see if I can find you guys something. This is what I practice on. As you can see, these are like the beginning wells. They just look like shit. That's, the, that's all the splatter that you get from Flux. Flux will splatter and it'll leave all the splatter mark like that. And as you can see, progressively, I start getting better and better and better. And then this was like one of the last ones I did right here. And you can see the progression. I mean, if you can't see it, I can see it. It just gets better and better. So from there all the way through but that's it this is what i'm working with and i found that with a flux core to eliminate splatter and also that it doesn't trip a breaker with the machine uh, is that i do a couple at a, a couple inches at a time instead of going all the way through but that's not too that's not too bad if you ask me like i can live with that right there these i could not live with those i can live with that right there though all right, so I'm going to wait for my buddy Trent to get here, and then we're going to get started. Alright guys, so what I got going on here is this is what connects to the bottom of the fuck of the cat delete. Um and I'm gonna have these clamps for right now. I don't know if I'm gonna pull them back off and weld them. Right now, what I want to do, I just want to get running. So I want to get this mocked up. I want to get it up and running and see what happens. If it holds boost, nothing goes wrong. I'm just gonna leave these fucking clamps on to be honest with you. I'm not gonna weld anything. Um, if I find that they start leaking or whatnot, I'm gonna pull the clamps off and it's already mocked up. It will be generally in the right position. So I'll just have it uh, welded. Either I'll weld them or I'll take them somewhere and get them welded. So this is what it's gonna look like gonna have that slip on like this and then of course you got the other one that would go on the back side 
and that's how it's gonna go for right now uh, i'm gonna get this on and get going again that's my little white boy right there trent <laughs> he's my helper now he bailed me out i needed someone it's impossible to hold the fucking piping and see where it's at and take measurements so great help right there man. Alright guys, as always, um, everything's taking a hell of a lot longer than I thought it would, but this is where I'm at. So, so far I got that lined up pretty well. Um, I am not the best welder, that is 100% certain, but um, my initial weld all held, I ran air through it, no leaks, perfect. Um, had to make another cut to lower this. This was way too low, so I actually had to raise it, had to cut it again and raise it. Um, this should be my last weld right here if I can line that up and then this flange will go on top of that um, and this would be these would be connecting to my pre cats and that's probably where I'm gonna end for the day um, I'll show you guys once I'm done but um, I have somewhere to go I got my family is opening a Thai restaurant um, I am half Thai and then I'm German Irish um, so i am going to my family's restaurant obviously to support them if you guys are in tampa um shit, i actually have to get the uh, the name of the restaurant but you can go and support them let them know that you know me and they'll give you a discount but um let me get welding on this and i'll show you guys when i'm done all right guys here it is it is not pretty by any means but this is how it come off the rear cat through here front cat down and let me see if i can show you guys underneath the car uh the angle may look weird but i will try my best to get you guys uh, a little right. view of it. this angle sucks and it's really dark under here but that's the cat this is the rear that is the oil pan that's the rear cat through here down there and then right here is going to be um the other up pipe to the turbo there is the front cat so i'm sorry that's the best i can do while laying underneath the car on jack stands but that's what she is so far now i just gotta weld her up and then i could start on the piping to the turbo and guys this is 100 percent the hardest fucking part um all the all the uh cold side um the charge piping i already mocked that up it is literally just plug and play rotate put on this is the hard shit this is where you got to find the angles um make sure they all line up make sure the flanges line up and then you got to weld it and it's it's a fucking pain in the ass i've been doing this i think for like three hours now trying to get this one fucking pipe correct um so when you take it to a shop and you have them do it man they fucking they know their shit and they're doing it right um i'm trying my best here but um it looks like everything is where it should be so i'm gonna get to welding now uh, the welds aren't going to be pretty, but I guarantee you they will hold. All right, well, here's the finished pipe. Got it all welded up. Um, again, guys, I am not the best welder. I already tested all these welds, though. Um, they don't leak at all. So, are they ugly? Fuck yeah. Do they hold? Fuck yeah. So, I am good with that. Um, secondly... I wasn't too concerned about the way they looked. I was more about more about the functionality, as always. Um, as you can tell, my car is a goer, not a shower. But anyways, um, it's all going to be covered up by heat wrap anyway. So what the fuck does it matter, right? So that's what I'm going to do now. That'd be the I'll show you guys this the the finished product of that. It's not even the downpipe. I guess the exhaust manifold, the manifold, turbo manifold. There you go, ladies and gentlemen heat wrap or exhaust wrap whatever you want to call it saving a bad welder one pipe at a time this is what i'm fucking talking about this is what i was saying like as long as your welds function who gives a fuck what they look like especially if you're putting 
uh, heat wrap on it. I mean, look at that shit. Uh, your wells are fucking nasty, bro. Now, if they were exposed, like exposed pipe, uh, I could see that you want it to look nice. Um, with a flux core welder, you're not going to get good looking wells, man. I've seen some people online that do decent welds with flux core. Um, I'm not one of them. going to be straight up honest with you. But um, here it is. This is the uh, turbo manifold. Um, that's it for now or for today guys. Hope you liked the video. Stay tuned. Um, more videos coming up Hit a uh, big thumbs up if you liked it. Please share. Please subscribe all that good shit. All right guys. Take care